Hi guys. Thought I'd better go live. I really wasn't expecting so many of you to reply to that question about ringing ears. And I thought we'd better have a chat. So if you know anyone that has ringing ears, please tag them in this video. And if you're new to my videos, please comment new. And if you're catching the replay, type replay. And if you're just hopping on, please say something so I know you're there. Hi, Shay. Uh, so I wanted to share with everyone some discoveries that I've made in my own wellness journey. And you've heard me talk before about the challenges of getting to the root cause with Western medicine. And I get it, they are operating within a framework and a structure, and they can't necessarily help you get to the root cause on all things because of certain, I don't know, restrictions maybe that they have or connections with big pharma, I'm not sure. This is a very long, history and um, there's a lot of censorship in the med medical world when it comes to what they call snake oil medicine. <laughs> Personally, I call it God's gift to humanity. And if you think about it, there's always a natural remedy to what ails us. And I discovered that through my own illness um, and problems with mold and then Lyme and co-infections and parasites and EMF sensitivity. I mean, there's a very long list. But I want to share some things that work because today I asked a question on Facebook. Do you have problems with ringing ears? And I found something that works for me. I did not expect so many people to resonate with that question and to either themselves or know someone that had that issue. So I decided I'd better come on and make a quick video to share this with you. So if you know anyone with ringing ears or you yourself have ringing ears, hopefully this will help you. And also, I'm gonna encourage you on every single video I make to comment, like, and share because Facebook has shadow banned me and they keep putting me into Facebook jail. So if you're just hopping on, please say hello. If you're new here, say I'm new. If you share the video, type shared. And if you, um, watch the replay later, watch replay, or type replay, just so I get a feel for who all is joining us and is part of our community of health, wellness, and truth seekers, right? Isn't that what we are? Um, basically, I keep getting asked to create a book, or not a book, yes, I've been asked to write a book, but to create a group, right? Who would, who would like a private group where we can discuss all these things? Um, I know you probably aren't as, forthcoming as I am when it comes to these personal wellness questions, but <laughs> I have no problem sharing my story. And I do believe that God gave me these challenges so that I could be uh, a leader in this wellness space of sharing his gifts with us. And like I said before, he has created the answer or remedy for everything that ails us. And there are times that we do need Western medicine and acute care and pharmaceutical meds. And I don't have any problem with that. But what I do have a problem with is not getting to the root cause, just prescribing someone a medication, just putting them on psych meds, right? I have a problem with that because what often is happening is there's a deeper root cause um, possibly gut dysbiosis, which then creates a lot of issues in our, our brain. And I have found so many things that work. I just could go on and on. But we're talking about ringing ears, so I'm gonna stay on task. Okay, so it looks like you all would like a private group. So my guess is we're gonna have to do a private group here on Facebook. I'm gonna name it something that's not too specific, but um, hopefully it will be one that you all can find helpful and a safe space to ask your embarrassing questions like is this a symptom of parasites <laughs> you know um back to the ear insufflation okay so ringing ears is caused by inflammation 
in the ear canal and the sinuses. And what I've learned uh, through my own journey is that the majority of those suffering from sinus infections are often, is fungal in nature when it's sinus infections and often due to mold exposure. Because when we're exposed to mold, the molds are releasing a poisonous gas called mycotoxin and it disrupts our own immune system which makes us more prone to fungus growing in our sinuses and in our gut. Um, the problem with the mold exposure is as it lowers your immune system, it makes you prone to the naturally occurring pathogens in our environment that our immune system normally keeps in check. Have any of you dealt with chronic ear infections or sinus infections or ringing ears? If any of those type, yes, I have, da 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 da, whatever it is. Um, one thing I've learned too, and I shared this in a video on the comments of that post, was that 25% of our population has a genetic defect called HLA-DR, which makes you more susceptible to biotoxin illness. That is one in four people. We're not talking about this in Western medicine, are we? We're not getting to the root cause there. So people that have chronic ringing ears, chronic sinus infection, chronic headaches, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, uh, fibromyalgia, these are often people that are being undiagnosed. They're not getting to the root cause. Now, if you have mold, you likely have Lyme and the co-infections that go with it. You also likely have parasites. <laughs> they all go together. I, I see it again and again. And for myself, it was definitely the case. Also, heavy metals come into play. So when it comes to our ringing ears, I can tell you something that not only helps with the symptom, but also helps with the root cause, okay? And that is flooding your body with oxygen. And I recently found this book. I wanna recommend everyone ordering it because all big tech, everyone is trying to censor these natural therapies. They're censoring the doctors that share them. They're um, threatening to take away their certifications. They are taking the books off the shelves. So I think it's critical that you all commit to buying these books because what do we do when this all disappears? I mean, then you're just gonna to have to rely on petrochemicals and pharmaceutical meds. Not for me. I would rather have this in my arsenal and be my own best doctor and have these on my bookshelf and then have the therapies that I can use at home. So this book is called Flood Your Body with Oxygen. You can order this on Amazon. It's such a good book. It talks about all of the different pathogens, cancer. Um, I mean, I'm just looking at the index. I don't. I was going to read it to you. I don't even know where to start, <laughs> how to share it. But um, it's hundreds of pages long, very thick, very good resource and reference to have, especially if you're uncertain about ozone and you've heard bad press around it. Think about it. They try and scare you from what really works. So ozone therapy is awesome because your ozone machine, what it does is it uses electrical charge in this little box and it fuses three oxygen molecules together, which you can consider to be like a jumper cable for your cells. So as you increase oxygen in the body, you are able to also decrease the pathogen load and decrease the inflammation. The ear ringing is caused by having this inflammation. So when I turn on my ozone machine, I let it run for about three minutes and it runs through water and then it runs, um, what it's doing is humidifying the ozone so it's not too dry. And then I put the insufflation, ear insufflation, it looks like a stethoscope, let me show it to you. Um, it's not a very fancy setup, but it works. So I turn on my ozone machine here. It runs, the um, oxygen runs through this, or actually it's gonna be the ozone coming out of the machine, which runs into this glass bottle. I know it's very fancy. And it goes into this water. Then this tube comes out where it goes into this. And this is where we're humidifying and we're going to be sending the oxygen into the earpieces, okay? And these go right into your ear, 
all of the material used in this setup is safe to use with ozone. The ozone does not degrade the silicone, okay? And so that runs through. I, I will use it for about five minutes. On my oxygen machine, I can adjust up here the amount that comes out. And then um, when this is turned on, you can actually set a timer so that it doesn't overrun and you don't run out of your oxygen. Now, this is interesting. I'll show you this. This is the ozone bag. So you, this is for a different type of treatment. This one is for filling this bag with ozone, and then you do what's called a rectal insufflation. I know, exciting. So what that does, this is really cool, you guys. Um, I was reading and researching again today, and I don't know if you know, but I've been getting ozone IVs, where they take your blood out of your body, they infuse it with ozone, and then it goes back into your body, which cleans your blood. And, then, and the other step that they do at my doctor's is they run it through an ultraviolet light. So do you remember when everyone went crazy saying that Trump said to inject bleach? Uh, he was actually talking about these treatments here that I'm sharing with you. And the masses are so uneducated that they didn't have any idea what it was he was saying and they assumed he was talking about injecting bleach. Those of us in the know who do these treatments were, were like, oh duh, that is exactly what he's talking about. And again, these are treatments that are being suppressed by a medical cartel. It's just maddening that we have these healthy, natural treatments with like almost no side effects, except for the side effect from the die off of pathogens and then your body trying to remove them. You can get side effects called Herxheimer reaction and that can make you feel flu-like symptoms. But just know that when you're doing these natural treatments and that die off is happening, that's a good thing. You might have to go slower because you might need to um, step back a little so your body doesn't get too overwhelmed, okay? And yeah, yeah, Janelle is like, I totally got feedback or bad feedback on this. Yes, of course you did because Western medicine thinks that this is snake oil and crazy, okay? Let them think that. We don't need to convince them. We need to take care of ourselves and our families. And personally, like I said, there are certain things that I will trust Western medicine on, and then there's others where I'm like, I'm gonna just do my own research and take this into my own hands. To the point, to the point that I am familiar enough with um, researching medications and uh, drug interactions that I will even self-medicate and order my meds from India and Mexico if needed. I have those websites, I use them, and I feel totally comfortable doing it. Also, you can always look up drug interactions on drugs.com. I'm only sharing this with you guys because I feel like it's criminal that we are holding, withholding information from people. And I really, really want you guys to feel empowered, to be able to know how to take care of yourself and your family, and to not feel bullied and pressured when you come to your doctor with a question I mean, how absurd is it that they then shame you for looking something up online? Oh, Dr. Google. I mean, how many times have we heard that? It's ridiculous. And quite honestly, they are supposed to be a partner in medicine. They're not your dad. They're not your boss. They have no right to treat you that way. If you come to a doctor's appointment with your child for a well baby check and they pressure you into getting a vaccine and they can't even tell you the top three ingredients and what the risks are for that vaccination, you walk out. You don't stay. You don't let them bully you. You walk out. You find a physician that will work with you. Or maybe you choose not to do well baby appointments like I did. I know that I could get a lot of real bad feedback for being this bold. Um, my dad's a doctor, my husband's a PA, my aunt's a nurse, like my uncle, my grandfather was a doctor. I am surrounded by Western medicine. <laughs> and so I do look crazy to them, <laughs> but guess what? I don't care because I have discovered what works for me and I know that God gave me an immune system, that God gave us these therapies that work, right? Like why would we as humans believe that our immune systems, like we're born inadequate, uh, inadequately made. I mean, think it through. Really? A vaccine is the only thing that's gonna keep you healthy? That's bullshit. Like, come on, you guys. 
And this whole BS around this new COVID vaccine, that that's gonna be the thing that saves humanity, you guys, it's contrived. It's contrived. And they're withholding the therapies and treatments that cure 100% of the time if given early. They should not be sending COVID positive sick patients home from testing with nothing. Think about it. Why are they doing that? What is the end goal? I, I get so fed up. I know this video wasn't about that, but I had to go there. <laughs> Hopefully that this will empower one of you as you watch this, that you feel, what is happening with the hair today? That you feel like you can say no. And here's the other piece. I shared this yesterday from Dr. Ben Lynch. He is a physician in Seattle. He created Seeking Health. I talk about their vitamin A and vitamin D3 plus K2 because it's an incredible product. You have to have it on hand. Um, you need to be taking it daily and then you need to do high dose therapy if you come down with viral symptoms. Um, that's something that we'll be sharing in my group. So here's the thing. Dr. Lynch was saying, if I, I want to, I've got to drive this point home with you now. Okay. So we know with COVID that they are restricting people from visiting loved ones that are now sick and in the hospital. So who's advocating for these patients? Okay. Who is advocating for these patients? It's criminal if you think about it. Um, there's so many reports and whistleblowing nurses and doctors that have said that the, the COVID patients are just ignored in some hospitals. And we, they especially saw this in New York. You probably were aware of this in the springtime. But basically, you need to know, like you all, be prepared ahead of time. Be prepared before the shit hits the fan. And you need to be educated now. Start researching health, wellness, your immune system, natural therapies. What would you request when you were in, if you were in the hospital, if you had septicemia, you are requesting a high dose vitamin C IV, right? Yes, you can request that in hospital, but if you're not working with an internist that knows about the fact that high dose vitamin C works against septicemia and improves 80% of the patients, how would you know to advocate that for yourself? And they're not gonna just volunteer this information to you. So you need to be educated. You need to take responsibility for your health, your wellness, your immune system, and your family. And nobody else is gonna do that for you, okay? So you've got to uh, be ready, be prepared. Understand what it is that you're gonna ask for. If you come down with viral symptoms and you don't have an ozone machine, to be getting flooding your body with oxygen. That's what I, that's the number one thing I recommend. In fact, um, when this COVID thing hit, that was the first thing I bought was an ozone machine because I knew that right away people were talking about how the body was losing the oxygen ability to oxygenate itself because of the um, cytokine storm and the bradykinin storm. And so what I want you all to understand is you can have these things at home and take care of yourself and your family. It's so easy. Uh, so this ozone machine is first line of defense. Second line of defense, if you don't have that, I left it in the other room, but it is um, hydrogen peroxide. I would, if you have diffusers at home, who of you use essential oils and diffusers? If you have a diffuser at home, I would be putting five to 10 drops of hydrogen peroxide every time you're filling up that diffuser and diffuse whatever essential oil plus hydrogen peroxide into the air. You can breathe it in. The other thing is when, you're, when you have your nebulizer, you're putting a few drops of that food grade hydrogen peroxide into that nebulizer, you're breathing it in. Here's the cool thing, you guys, and many doctors have shared this, that when you are nebulizing hydrogen peroxide, it actually infuses through the sinus tissues and into your lungs and infuses into the blood more oxygen. And that, you all, helps fight off any pathogen. I don't care if it's a virus, I don't care if it's um, anaerobic bacteria, if it's a parasite, a fungus, a mold, it will help kill it, okay? And it will, help, it will help boost your body's natural immune defense. When you give your body more oxygen, you, it actually improves your immunity. So that is a uh, second line of defense is this high, or sorry, <laughs> is this um, hydrogen peroxide nebulizer. Third line of defense is your high dose vitamins. That's when you're gonna incorporate Dr. Brownstein's protocol where you do high dose vitamin D, high dose vitamin A, high dose vitamin C, and iodine if you can take it, okay? Um, 
I'll, I'll be able to share all of this information in our private group. So if you're interested in joining that group, please let me know. Um, I'm going to have to create the group because I haven't yet. Also, I'll post the links of where you can find me outside of Facebook in case I get censored because that will probably happen eventually. <laughs> and um, I hope that this will help you. Uh, no, Bonnie, please share a link to Dr. Batar's webinar. He is incredible when it comes to all of this information I'm sharing, definitely. Okay, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope that that helped. Again, the answer to ear ringing is ozone insufflation and or nebulizing hydrogen peroxide, okay? Because what it does is it oxygenates the sinus cavities, the ear canal, even puts uh, more oxygen into the blood and the blood um, crosses the blood-brain barrier is what I'm trying to say. Yes, incredible. Um, yes, Sylvia, I do have a specific... Um, hydrogen peroxide that I recommend that's food grade. Um, you can get it at your local health food stores. Um, call around, find it. You can go to local drug stores. You can get the nebulizer there. I always tell people if you're sick with or you have symptoms of COVID or any cold or whatever, please get your hands on hydrogen peroxide food grade and a nebulizer, distilled water, ASAP. You can get it through a drive through drugstore. You can bring it to your friend that's sick, your family member that's sick. Get them breathing it every hour. It will improve symptoms almost within the first 12 to 24 hours, like that fast. This little piece of hair here is driving me nuts on this video. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I will be starting that group today, um, adding you. Also, I am going on strong on parlor and telegram right now so definitely look for me there i'll post those links in the comments um hopefully that this will be helpful do you guys have any questions about what i shared today about the ear insufflation about the use of hydrogen peroxide or ozone or anything for that matter any questions how much hydrogen peroxide roxy asks oh let me mention this if you become symptomatic Here's the other thing I want you to do. You're gonna either gargle your ozone water or you're going to gargle your hydrogen peroxide water. Anytime that you get any, do you guys ever deal with sore gums or any mouth infection? Again, hydrogen peroxide, swishing and gargling. Ozone water, swishing and gargling, okay? These pathogens do not like oxygen. You guys, these are the simplest therapies. They are very inexpensive. Um, you can clean with hydrogen peroxide. You can clean with ozone water. It's incredible. And it is so cheap. Like literally, the, all we clean our house with is white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, borax. Those things. <laughs> That's it. There's no need to spend money on their ridiculous chemicals and their synthetic scents. Like get that stuff out of your house. Okay. Okay. So you have a friend admitted Oh, oh, with COVID, yes, I can give suggestions. Absolutely request that she get vitamin C IV, that she get on hydroxychloroquine and zinc, that she get prescribed a corticoid steroid inhaler or nebulizer called budesonide. I will post that in the comments once we're done here um, so that you can help and advocate, I hope. I don't know because the, here's the key, you guys, stay out of the hospital especially now. If you can take care of your health and be proactive now and help your family and friends, if you can have these things on hand and help your family and friends, you're gonna be able to stay out of the hospital. Once you get in the hospital, it's tough because do you have an advocate? Do you have a hospital that's gonna work with you with these holistic approaches? Do they allow hydroxychloroquine? And the key is with hydroxychloroquine and these things is it has to be given early upon first sign of symptoms. So can you see how America's approach is screwing this up and is it intentional I, I hate to think that it is it's so sad oh that's so sad I'm so sorry to hear that that's so sad and I you know what that makes me furious because that death could have been avoided had they given her sister these things when she first came down with the symptoms you guys I cannot press this point home enough that you have got to, got to have these things on hands. You've got to have the hydroxychloroquine, the zinc, 
the budesonide. Um, we luckily I've been I have a very proactive holistic doctor and I come to him with my research and he he says sure let's do it uh, he's very open but he's not a Western medicine doc either he's a natural physician his name is Sam Madeira and he actually has a podcast I can share it with you guys um, but he prescribed me the meds and then we ordered the rest of them from India. So we got meds for our friends, our family, like we're like the go-to resource here locally for people that need it. And you know what? I know that some people would disagree because we're, I'm not a prescribing physician, but I'll be darned if I would withhold this knowledge from a loved one and even from you guys who I may or may not know on Facebook because these things work. All you have to do is look at the research and follow the science and it's all BS that they say we have to follow the science and wear masks because the CDC itself reported 85% of the people who came down with COVID wore a mask all the time. Think about that. You guys, it's because they're lowering their oxygen. They're lowering their immunity as a result. So that's why I do not wear a mask and I will not. Anyway, yes, Roxy, I will put these in the comments. That got me fired up hearing that her sister died because it's a needless death, another needless death. So anyway, I hope that this video can help one of you get prepared and be proactive and be empowered and not be afraid. I'm not scared of this because I have what I need if we were to get sick and we have what we need to combat these things. Anyway, this was a video about ear ringing and look what it turned into. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, I hope that this has been helpful again. Um, I'm getting ready to go and get my um, high dose vitamin C IV. I'm going to have a lysine added to it today because I have, feel like I might be getting a little cold sore. And that is a result of last night. I felt like I had a little um, gum infection on my lower part of my mouth. So I used doTERRA on guard essential oils. And then I used DMSO. You all, are you using DMSO? This is another trick, another thing that they are withholding from the population. DMSO. Oh my gosh. You guys love. Um, oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that, Heidi. Anyone that wants uh, the immune system protocol that we that Rob is prescribing his patients. Um, he has an online pharmacy called Fullscript. It is not a medication, it's all supplements, natural supplements. So you can email him at um, robleininger at gmail.com with the subject immunity if you want that. Anyway, I'm gonna be teaching more about DMSO in our group because this stuff is incredible. Just saying. Um, and the reason I think I got the cold sore, like I said, was because I had this uh, little gum infection on the inside of my mouth. I did essential oils, and then DMSO is the mechanism of action that drives it deeper into the tissues. And I have read this, but I didn't really believe it. But it said that if you use DMSO and colloidal silver on certain things on your skin, um, especially where you might have a cold sore, that it could bring the cold sore out and it will continue to present and present and present until it's fully healed. So I am actually excited to see and feel that I woke up with this little cold sore because I'm gonna be experimenting with this DMSO. DMSO stands for dimethyl sulfoxide. It's a colorless transparent liquid a sulfur-based compound with amazing healing properties. DMSO is known for its ability to easily pass through the skin and other biological membranes. It is a powerful free radical scavenger and an effective anti-inflammatory agent. So when I get cramps or a backache, I also put DMSO on with the essential oils that are used for inflammation. Janelle, if you add DMSO to your colloidal silver, you'll go next level. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you all soon. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Bye.